Okay, so you guys should be able to see me, hopefully. Um, today I'm doing a guinea pig requirement video. There we go, now you can see me. But before I get started, I would just like to say that in no way am I saying certain people should not have guinea pigs. Not at all. Sorry, I'm just gonna run over here and grab my chair real quick so it's easier to film this. is better. Stella, are you kidding me? My guinea pig is the world's messiest guinea pig. Because she's a little short pig. Okay, first things first. Guinea pigs are herd animals. So you should never, well, in most cases, pretty much all the time cases, you should never ever own a single guinea pig, but Stella is super happy. She lost her sister and her mother when she was like five minutes old. So um, she's never had a partner. And I know it's in their genes, but she's just not used to that. So she doesn't have that in her, if you know what I mean. Stella, you don't need to bury yourself. <laughs> no. Are you peeing? Seriously? I just cleaned. Okay, I'm gonna... Just, it's no use. Um, guinea pigs do need a lot of space. Stella's a very tiny guinea pig. She's a dwarf guinea pig. That's a breed. She is a dwarf mixed with a crested. And she has, don't you do it, Stella. Here, Stella Marie. Stella Marie, are you gonna eat some pellets? Look, they have your medicine. I give up. Okay, pellets feel cool, but you're not supposed to touch. I just like to sprinkle pellets around the place. Um, some other things you should know. Okay, so these are just things you should know before getting a guinea pig. There's plenty things you should know. Plenty reasons to not get a guinea pig. Plenty reasons to get a guinea pig. Really just depends on the person you are, because if you are not an animal person, you don't want to have something screaming at you every night and you do not want to be bit while trying to hand feed an animal i really don't think these are the animals for you but um seriously oh um, are you saying hi yeah say hi hey fam hey fam oh yeah Yeah? Really? She is over in her litter box. I've never seen her do this before. Uh-uh, Missy. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave. I'm trying to make a video with you. Why can't you just behave? Hi. Hey, Missy. Hey. No, no, no. Back it up, Miss. Come here. Come here. Okay, I got you some lettuce. Yeah, come on. Come over here. Come on. Can you can you show them how you dance? No. 
Can you show them how you're a good guinea pig? <laughs> He's a turd. Here. Um, they do need a lot of time and a lot of care. And they are very noisy animals. Um, guinea pigs are nocturnal, but most of the times after you've had a guinea pig for quite some time, they adapt to your sleep schedule. So when you're asleep, they're asleep, which this is always lovely for owners. <laughs> um, she always, 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 always has love, loved to play outside of her cage. So you do need a lot of extra room. This cage is a very small one. Um, it's probably not fit for another guinea pig. And if she gets any bigger, we're going to have to transfer her because it's not very well fit. But that's fine. They have very nice diets. Oh, there's your little face. Can you not get a piece? Come on, come on. Show them your long neck. No? Okay. Um, guinea pigs are great for small children. As long as they don't touch their ears or their feet, then they're pretty great and pretty easy. Um, depending on what bedding you use, I use fleece because I found it works the best for us. Um, some people use like wood chips. I don't use those and I never have because it's really bad for you're gonna fix lungs. And some people use the paper stuff, which I have used in the past. But with the long hair, I do not suggest that. You will have bedding everywhere. Stella, she is really outgoing. Most guinea pigs are. After you get to know them, they're very, very, very hyper. And they don't really want to hurt you, but if they accidentally bite you, then they accidentally bite you. You know what I mean? Like... It's kind of like a dog. They don't always mean to hurt you. Like puppies don't always mean to hurt you. But sometimes they do. Guinea pigs. Hmm, what else do you need to know? They can be expensive. Some can be nice. Some can be a little, little ferocious at times. Come on, back over here. Do you want me to say the magic word? Stella Quacky. Stella Quacky. 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 No. Stella. Not in heaven. You're in your cage. No, I just cleaned it. And so you're so happy. Make a mess in it again. I always, always clean her cage. Before feeding time and after feeding time. Are you, are you kidding me, Stella? Are you serious? Can you like not do that, please? Can you like not? Here, you want some hay? Um. <laughs> raining on you. You are a hot mess, Missy. Come on. Let's let's clean you off. You're so happy today. Why why you gonna be like this? Today I'm trying to film you gonna be such a little turkey. Yes. Um So, I don't always do this with Stella, like, but I'm really trying to work it into our nightly routine. It's just, having a healthy guinea pig is so much better than having a sad guinea pig, so. <coughs> and plus, since Stella doesn't have that social interaction with other animals that she needs, then you need to spend a lot of time with her. People say, oh, 
you spending time with them doesn't fulfill the memory of having a guinea pig partner. Actually, if you spend just a right amount of time, real, no, Stella, no, 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 get out. Come on, get out. Come on, you little crap hole. You little turd. No, 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 no. Okay, I want to put her over here for just a second, shake you off. What do you think you're doing, huh? You don't get to do that. You don't make the decisions. No, you don't. No. <laughs> of course, like I said, very social animals. They do cost quite a bit at first, but their diets, the only thing I don't get at the pet store is their hay. Because I actually feed her cat pellets because they have a lot of veggies. Oh my god. A lot of veggies that cats don't necessarily need, but guinea pigs do. So. <laughs> Scratchy, 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 scratchy. Sometimes they like you, sometimes they don't. It just depends on the guinea pig. Yeah? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. You are a little. You're a little butthole. Yes, you are. Look, you wanna go in there? <laughs> Knock it off. Go away. Go away. Go away. Hope you got so many veggies. Okay. Well, I am done with this video. Well, I'm done using Stella for this video. Because she doesn't seem too happy with me. Okay. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get you guys? Well, yeah, that's guinea pig hair. This is all my guinea pig stuff. Here, let me show you. All my guinea pig stuff. Yeah, so it's basically all you need to know for before buying a guinea pig. So, yeah, love you guys. See you next time. Peace.